Hello class. Uh, in this video, we will learn about ABAP strings and we will also perform some live demonstration and examples of strings on SAP ABAP server. Strings are basically a sequence of characters. We use data type C variable for holding alphanumeric character with a minimum of one character and a maximum of 65,535 characters. By default, these are aligned to the left. So let's see creating strings in our system. Let me copy this piece of code. Write it here. And value hello. You can see it is printed. So in order to find the length of a string, we can use a function called strlen, string length statement. It will return the number of characters contained in the string. For example, let's try copying this. Let's replace this one. So we have one uh, variable of character type with uh, name title underscore one having value tutorial. Let's see how many characters are in this string. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then we have declared uh, integer type another variable to which will save the returning uh, number of characters in this string. And in the end, we are sh showing and displaying that integer variable value, which should be nine. So here the length of the title is 9. So a bad supports a wide range of statement that manipulate a string like concatenate, condense, str len. We have already used it. Replace, search. So concatenate makes two strings are joined to form a third string and condense. This statement deletes the space, wide space characters from the string. str length used to find the length of a field. Replace used to make replacement in characters. Search to run search in character string. Shift is used to move the contents of a string left or right. You can use shift left or shift right. Then we have split, used to split the contents of a field into two or more fields. Let's try some example of above statements so let me copy this instead of writing all this code it's easy to copy and give demonstration so these all are variables here these all three are character variables all of them are with different lengths three have values like tutorials and point and tutorial point limited now in first statement what we are doing we are concatenating title 1 and 2 into destination 1 which is this so it will be tutorial point then in concatenation example we are displaying that with the result okay let's try concatenation and comment this so it is concatenation tutorials point now we have done that concatenation again but this time we have separated it by scp scp is a one character length by default any character type has one length and it is empty space so in this time concatenation will be with space here it is much better now much readability and simplify for user now let's try what they have done next let's try these lines here and comment this so this is a title space underscore title we have used condense command here 
which will remove white spaces and write it here and we have again used condensed command with no gaps so let's see what will be the difference in both of them here condensed command has condensed and removed all the spaces but actually spaces are not removed between the words which is good these are called gaps and when we use the keyword no gaps it has also removed these gaps between different three words so this is the note for you guys in case of catenation the scp inserts a space between the fields the condensed statement removes blank space between the fields but leaving only one character space no gaps is an optional addition to the condensed statement that removes all its spaces so this was all about a web strings in the next upcoming lecture we will discuss some more ideas and concepts related to sap web development thank you for your feedback